<laughs> All right, let's get back to the show. Well, you're dropping lines. Uh-huh. So today we're gonna give you something a little different. We're gonna give you a little bomb here from Omega Gang, which is from upstate New York. And this one is a little special one because it's a very special. Because it's not made anymore. It's gone. This was done for the series Game maybe, of Thrones. Maybe because it has a, a very very weird ingredient. What, what's it called again? What's the ingredient called? Fenugreek. Fenugreek, and that's the Fenugreek. Name. What's the purpose of it? And the purpose of it? Oh, back in the day, they used it to help women lactate after uh, giving birth. But it didn't do that. And if you took it before you gave birth, then it might have been bad for the fetus. But it was more you know. It was bad. So, <laughs> this was released 2001. You said the more you know, and then you did the <laughs> the Hunger Games. <laughs> so, this was a game. A game of Thrones. 2018. Don't take Fenugreek. In 2018, the Game of Thrones. Do I remember 2018? No, I do not. Did, did it end 2000? The show. I don't remember. Watch it again. I threw a go. What? Was I looking at the calendar when Game of Thrones ended? No, I was not. Whatever. Whenever the show I was ended. looking at the screen in disbelief at the shit show that was the last season. Well, so. I threw my beer bottle at it, so we're all in that boat together. So this one's particularly called My Watch is Ended. So it was a fitting, fitting ending to a fitting, fitting series. Uh, they were made about roughly 12 to 13 of these type of beers, different types. And yeah, those don't exist anymore, so I'm not even going to try to find them and review them. But there were some of them were good, some of them were bad. This one was particularly pretty good. And this one is an Imperial Brown Ale brewed with maple syrup and what? Fenugreek. 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 A dangerous substance from a time long, long ago. <laughs> it is 8% alcohol by raw. Zoom in on your own time. I got that fancy stuff on the back. Oh, should, you can edit like that in, so. <laughs> Our final Game of Thrones release expresses the state of seven kingdoms after eight seasons of bloody battle. The name of the triumph to the fans everywhere. The recipe is a nod to the brand the broken. And it's time beneath the weirwood tree. Fucking <laughs> brand the broken. Fucking brand. Fucking brand. The beer pour is rich in mahogany hue. With the aroma of sweet maple and caramelized sugar. You're having Oops. trouble dragging yourself away from this, aren't you? Notes of koa and toffee. Smooth violet mouthfeel of the morning finish that gently smothers and lingers with roast. That sounds sexual. So you ready to drink this shit? <laughs> let's get this <laughs> let's get this going. Now, the court is going to be extra fancy with us. It has a celebration court. You can celebrate wasting eight years of your life or celebrate wasting eight years of your life. This is a good deal. On the two. Woo! Life is shit. Get to know this. <laughs> All right. Look at that. I like that color. Nice and tame. It's a nice doo-doo brown. Yeah. That's doo-doo brown. Doo-doo brown. Hold the horses, <laughs> tiny too. Hmm. Yeah. It's carbon. It has no fillets. It's almost like Coca Cola. It's like a Coca Cola. It's almost like Coca Cola. I actually do like it. It has a little bit more fizz than the last few beers I had, that's for sure. It smells fruity. It smells like wine. 
no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> Why is he breaking my damn table over here? <laughs> Dude's about to start flying in there. Ah, man. Uh, when you Here's to good furniture. May you someday own some. It is. I don't like I don't dislike that. I don't dislike it either, bro. It's, it's pretty clean tasting. It's not it's not what I thought. This it's a very dark beer, but I didn't think it was gonna it tastes light. It's not like a dark beer. It's not heavy at all. I mean, it's kind of feels like it's like a bad tea. <laughs> like a tea gone bad. Man, if I were to drink tea, <laughs> that would be a terrible tea. The fuck it's no just, tea. It's, 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 fuck you tea. I'm not a fan of the taste. I mean, the meat person I'm not. It's definitely not what I expected. It's light. But like I said before in other episodes, taste is subjective. You like what you like. Family is there. Me personally, I'm not a fan of this. It, the more you drink, the more you get that aftertaste. Like yeah, that. I did get that on this next second. It's like a bad wine. Like it's wine still fizzing, bad. though. <laughs> Maybe because it aged two years. It is two years over here. It's called the, the fizz. It, it is fizz, yeah. It's still fizzy. It's kind of cool. I do like when beer do that. They have that extra micro fizz. It's, there's a science behind it. Some true. people uh, carve a little ring in the bottom of the glass, mm-hmm. and that's supposed that's to air initiate it. Yeah, I do like. When but some beer, I think this beer does it on its own. I don't think this flask does it. Your beer is doing the same thing, right? Yeah. So it's still fizzing, and that fizz covers up a little bit about that aftertaste. I mean, it's a good shit to get your drunk. What's the alcohol? Alcohol percentage on this? 8%. So it's not too high, it's not too low. It's right there, it lingers in the middle. But for, for that 8%, mm, it's not really worth the taste. How much was the bottle? Uh, about 40 bucks. Yeah. And you got what? It's pretty much, uh, you get three glasses. Three glasses for 14 bucks. That's, that's what you would pay at a bar for something kind of this. Wait, twenty. Yeah, Wait, twenty. You also get a better beer. You could. <laughs> and it's not something I'll go out and look for. That's for sure. I mean, I accidentally ran across it when I was at World's Market. To brand the broken. Brand the broken. Fuck, can't see. It's me, I guess you want to do the whole. Did you ever try that, the the twenty euro scotch for brand broken? Nope. Let's do that here real quick. So, this is going to be a little extra on the episode. So, whenever the show ended, they also, uh, they've been doing a series with the, the Scotch during the series of season eight. I couldn't get a hold of all of them. We got a hold of a handful. So this one I completely got, because this one was a representation of Brand the Broken. It's called Six Kingdoms, and it's from a Scotch maker of Marlock. Single malt whiskey, aged 15 years. And Marlock is from a little small island I remember the last time you had some of this shit. That's yeah, a nice one. That's a nice one. Just like this little thing right here. The Three Eyed Raven! <laughs> we'll go ahead and finish up this episode. <laughs> May wash off a better, with a better tasting brew than that beer. That beer was not that great. What's this called? This one's called the Three Eye Brew. It's a 15 year Scotch from Malak. Malak. Which is a family owned by the John Walker family. A little small distillery out in Ireland. You gotta appreciate this stuff. Little corks on it. You can still find this bottle somewhere out there. You can go to a rare collector's item store. Uh, and I don't know how much it costs now, but when I bought this bottle, it was $120. What's a rare collector's item store? 
Uh, there's a few of them you have to look around. I know the one that we have here in Houston is this three locations, one in uh, Spring Branch, one in the Heights, the one right next to Peak, Peak, Peak Center, right behind uh, Cotton Mouth. Oh, I didn't even talk about that. Yeah, I forgot the name of it. That's new. That's new. That's new. Oh, okay. Well, and there's another one I think right down the ways. But yeah, they're specialized in super rare like uh, liquor that like you can only find there. But the problem is if they have it, that's when you can probably upsell it. So you have to get it when you could. Unless you want to spend the extra money just for the shit sake of it. I bet. I ain't judging. Ah, oh, it smells so beautiful. Some grapes. I think this screen just moves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is excited. I did oh. get excited. This got my third eye going. Mm. Nah, this, this is how it's supposed to smell. This is how good scotch supposed to smell. Mm. Oh, I got hot tea. You taste too. Taste it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna wash that glass. Yeah. <laughs> My scotch there, son. Does he get like cut? That's a good scotch there, son. That's good. You got the money, man. Might as well. I put. I, well, I, one day when I saw this bottle, I said, "Fuck it." I think a little bit now. I think I just got a little bit of my soul back <laughs> from that beer. Drink <laughs> it. Yeah, this so we use this to wash down that beer, and that was bad. That's pretty good. This is pretty good. Yeah. You can find it. I dare you to buy it. Yeah, it's great. It's fucking wonderful. So this, this and, is, and you said you paid 120 for it? Yep. So who knows how much it costs now? That's like uh, Johnny Walker Blue price? No, Johnny Walker Blue is about 165 I think that depends where you get it. I've seen it for 120 The fifth. The fifth size? Mm-hmm. Maybe, because I don't ever bought it. Well, my buddy looks like a good taste. And prices may vary also... You may see this video in like two or three years. Yeah, this is gonna probably be more expensive two or three years. It's gonna be gone in two or three years. Well, maybe by me. Well, everybody is a no getter. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, this episode turned to a whiskey episode. We're pretty good. Well, okay. well, he's gonna be sticking around for a little while. Smoke him if you got him. So, before we head off in this episode, you wanna <laughs> share your Instagram account? Kind of? Uh, my Instagram account is at Monster Bassist. Man, he does a couple of shows here locally there. too. I uh, know Lou Seals. I, I usually post about my shows on my Instagram, so check me out there. It's a good musician, man. Y- y'all enjoy it and love it. Well, thanks again He's for this. Kind. He's never been to one of my shows. <laughs> Alright, so thanks again for another evening, another good night. This is just a round drinking guy here. Sing fairly well.